Welcome to the blind date. Uh, we're going to cook bananas foster. It's a flaming dessert and it's actually really easy to make. I mean, I make a fair amount of desserts and this one is really extremely easy to make. So uh, let's get started. Now, I think the first time I ever had bananas foster was tableside where you order it and they come to the table with a cart and they use sterno to heat up the pan and they cook it right there at the table. I actually have a table side set that my mom got me and this is a copper pan. You can use any skillet. It doesn't have to be a copper pan. And I'm actually cooking on an alcohol stove because that's what we have here on the blind date. But it's really simple with just a few ingredients. And uh, I've been cooking this for probably 30 years and uh, I don't, I've never measured anything, but I did look online to see kind of what measurements other people were using because I know you need a measurement in order to kind of make this yourself at home. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some butter. So I'm using a half a stick of butter. I believe that's a quarter of a cup, Miss Vicky? Yes. Okay, so I'll put that in the pan. And then after that, I'm going to add about uh, a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now it's just me and Miss Vicky here uh, that are going to be eating this. Normally I make it with more uh, more butter actually and more brown sugar because we usually make it when some friends are over and there's about you know at least four of us. So we're going to make a little smaller uh, batch today. Like I said, I, I never measure this because you just basically, you know, I throw some butter in, I throw some sugar in and see if it's kind of the right consistency. And then if I want to add more sugar, brown sugar, I do. And that's heating up pretty quick. And cooking on an alcohol stove is kind of tricky compared to gas or electric. But we're going to let this melt and then we're going to add the brown sugar. And like I said, this is crazy easy. There's very few ingredients to it. One thing that I add that I haven't seen anybody else do is that I like to put some orange in there. So I do put some uh, fresh squeezed orange in the pan. And so this is Bananas Foster and it apparently originated from the Brennan family from New Orleans and their restaurant tours and according to what I found uh, one of the Brennans uh, asked their chef to come up with a banana dessert dish and it's named after a friend of one of the Brennans and his name I believe his last name was Foster so that's kind of the origin of it and it's a you know it's a huge dish in New Orleans we've been in New Orleans before and uh, at one of the Brennan's family restaurants. There are still Brennan-owned restaurants in New Orleans. All right. Miss Vicky's giving me fo <laughs> football updates as we film this. The playoffs are going on right now. So we've got the butter melted and now we're going to add the brown sugar. Uh, I've got about a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm going to put that in. So we'll mix that up. And I will say that I think most people probably when they make Bananas Foster, they make it and have the sauce be fairly thick when you pour it onto the, uh, onto the ice cream of the bananas, or the bananas actually will be in here. But for me, I don't like it that thick. And so I typically will have it thinner. I add the orange juice, which obviously thins it out. I've incorporated the brown sugar with the butter, and now I'm going to add some banana liqueur, probably about a cup. I'm not measuring this. I could measure it kind of a little bit. I don't have an actual measuring cup with me on the boat right now, but about a cup. You know what? But it, because I've made this a smaller batch, because it's just the two of us, 
I'm going to put in less than a cup. Let's say, let's call it half of a cup. I'm not very helpful with all these <laughs> crazy measurements. But, you know, really it's just a consistency thing. So I'll just show you what it looks like in terms of, I mean, it's just brown sugar and butter. It doesn't get any, any more simple than that. I didn't know if simpler was a word or not. But, so, you know, that's what it is. So we're going to add, I'm going to add, even though I poured probably almost a cup in here, I'm, let's say a half a cup of banana liqueur. And that's quite a bit to me. And when we get the heat up a little higher, that's going to burn off a lot because the alcohol, whenever you heat alcohol up, a lot of it burns off. I'm going to turn the flame up a little bit. We're on a gimbaled stove, so as the boat moves back and forth or pitches, this, this stove moves with it. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you the consistency that we have now after we've added about a half a cup of the banana liqueur with the butter and it was a half a stick of butter and about a half a cup of uh, brown sugar and let that cook for just a minute or so I've already cut the bananas and I cut two bananas and I have a some orange from my orange tree. And so, whoa, so I've got that. I need to turn that down. I don't want this to get too thick. So I'm going to turn it way down. Almost turn it off. And I try to get bananas that are not too ripe. I don't like the bananas to be mushy after you finish this. And I'm going to take it off the heat for a minute. So I try to get bananas that they're not green, but they're not overripe either. Because they're going to cook, obviously. And this is actually the perfect size pan for two bananas. And I'm going to put a little brown sugar, um, excuse me, I'm going to put a little cinnamon in here. And let's call it uh, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Put it back on the flame for just a little bit and then as best I can I'm going to try to put some of the sauce over the top of the bananas and the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some rum and you can use whatever kind of rum that you like. Some recipes call for dark rum. I've never used dark rum. And I will say that 151 rum, which is obviously really high proof, it burns really well, but the bottle tells you not to use 151 just because it's so flammable. So we've got that incorporated. I will cook that for just maybe a minute under low heat. And then uh, I'll add a, some orange juice in just a minute. And then we have a couple of smoke detectors inside this boat. So I'm not going to flame it in here because I think the smoke alarms might go off. So we'll do it on deck on the cockpit table. But that is starting to cook up. I'm going to add a little bit of orange. Hopefully it's not too dark in the boat. It's at night. 
and we've got a little bit of light in here, but uh, so we'll just cook that for a minute or two. Okay, so the last thing that we do is we put the rum on that we're going to flame. And you want to get the rum warm, and you can do that by putting about a cup of rum on the stove in a little pot and warm it up. Probably not advisable to put it in the microwave and warm it up. It, it will just burn a lot better if it's been warmed up. Now the way they would do this table side is that they would tilt this pan and then they would pour the rum in on one side of the pan and let the warm get excuse me let the rum get warm on that little corner and then they tilt the pan towards the sterno and the sterno would then and that's the alcohol would then ignite the pan the way I do it is I warm up the rum separately and then I just pour it on it. You don't want to mix it in because if you mix it in with everything that's in the pan, it's not going to burn right. So I just uh, pour it on the top and then ignite it. So I've separately warmed up about less than a cup of rum that I will pour on the top. So we are ready to go. And I'm going to take it off the heat because I don't want the I don't want the rum to be I don't want the skillet to be boiling and then the rum kind of incorporate. You want to pour the rum on top so you don't have it uh, so it'll burn better. So now I will uh, put it on top. Like I said, we're going to do this outside on deck. most of the rum to burn off. I, I like the rum taste in the dessert so I really don't want it all burned off but I'm shaking it a little bit to get most of it to burn off. All right so we flamed the dessert, burned most of the rum off but hopefully we've got some in there to still give it the right kind of taste we want. So we're going to add the bananas. Ice cream, huh? Yeah. And then put as much sauce on there as you want. I didn't mention that I put ice cream on there, did I? And then a little bit of cinnamon on top of the ice cream and bananas. And we're ready to go. Bon appetit. All right, so uh, you ready to give it a try? Yeah. As we, we're squeezed into the galley right here. It is good, very good. Please give this a try. It's crazy easy to make, actually. So, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, it's free, and it helps us out. So, uh, we'll see you next time, and uh, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>